welcome back to my channel welcome to another cash stocking video welcome if you are new here please consider subscribing if you love what you see i will really appreciate your presence here and if you are returning thank you so much for coming back to check up on me i really appreciate you so much thank you so much guys for coming back um today i'm gonna be unstuffing my wallet for the week and i'm gonna unstuff my wallet then we'll stuff it for the week because tomorrow is friday and i'm going grocery shopping this video will go up on Sunday, I believe. Yeah, but so let's uh, get right into the video. So I'm going to be doing a couple of savings challenges today as well. So I don't even know how much I have here. So let's count real quick. I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 371, 72. I don't have very much not a lot yes how has it been so far we've been yeah this is our first full week of school tomorrow friday will be the, the, the full week for us it's been interesting it's been eventful it's been stressful for me because i have to drive i've done a lot of driving like i don't even know how much driving i've done this past how many days that school started because the twins now go to school in a different city because they, they got an admission to an application school because the schools around here that they are assigned to go to that are close to us they are not good schools at all and that's one of the mistakes that i made with my oldest child i i shouldn't have let her go to that school but it is what it is we learn lessons every day so she taught me a big lesson even though this school is further away, I wanted to, like, I wanted to sacrifice everything I can to make sure we don't have the same problems that we have with her, with the twins. So they got admission, they got recommended to go to this application school by the principal from their fourth grade. And they did the exam, they passed, because this school is a special school. They have, you have to write an exam to get in. It's the best middle school in the whole of Oklahoma State so they were so happy when they got the admission but there's a problem of transportation because it's 30 minutes away from my house and they cannot ride the, the snow bus that goes there from the house so our first few days was so stressful because i have to take my little one to school then take them to school drive 30 minutes take them to school and go back 20 minutes to my job and then in the afternoon drive another 15 minutes to pick them up and then drive 30 minutes back home every day so it was so stressful and i was just thinking and i was going to put angel in the daycare and all that stuff was just so stressful for me but you know what god has a way of working wonders for us sometimes we just stress for no reason i think i'm doing too much talking but i have to share this testimony god have ways of taking care of us when we are stressing out i just got this phone call from the principal and she told me that they found four other kids that are coming to the school from my city. So now that I have six kids going there, they organized a school bus to pick them up. So I thought they was going to tell us to go to a bus stop, you know, drop them at the bus stop. Guess what? They are coming to pick them up in front of my house. I did not expect that to happen. I thought the worst is to take them to the nearest bus stop, but no, they came to the house to pick them up i just got a text message and they said can you have them ready by 7 45 tomorrow i'm like D are you coming to my house to pick them up he said yeah and they are even offering to drop them at home in the afternoons which means i don't have to worry about them at all all i have to worry about is angel and her school is i can leave work at lunch pick her up drop her home with grandma and go back to work during my lunch break and i don't have to pay a dime for child care guys god is good and i saved 800 dollars up for child care that i'm going to put in my sinking funds yeah that is the best highlight of my week so the past two days they've been riding the bus the bus has been coming to the house to pick them up and starting from monday they're going to be getting dropped at home after school i'm super happy about that so yeah that's a testimony that i have to share with you guys since it has to do with the money that i've saved up for child care and 
let me know in the comment section what has been the highlight of your week that has been mine it's, it makes me so happy so we're going to be going ahead to um, stuff my wallet enough of the rumbling so yes um i have some receipts here that i need to scan to fetch if you don't know what fetch is it's an app that you scan receipts to and you can redeem those points for uh gift cards so here's my groceries envelope i have 20 30 35 40. well let me just empty everything and count it together and guys this is my week card this is a uh this is kind of emotional for me right now because this card I'm, I'm not going to be using it anymore and I'm not going to use any week card anymore ever because my daughter will be five next month actually in about three or four weeks from now and I just got a letter in the mail stating that she no longer qualifies for a week so this card is going to be going away going away for good because I don't have any little ones so yeah but I'm going to keep that card just for memories. <laughs> so yeah, eating out, we have some money left. Mr. Lenos is empty. Spending, I do have some money left here. I have $13. Actually, I don't even remember where this money came from. Yes, because I did not stop this envelope. And this money, I kept in here for my couponing. And because of the school week, I didn't have any chance. Oh my gosh, this expired. Oh my, this really, really makes me mad when I let these things expire. And this extra box, extra care box, do not expire until September 4th. So I have some time to use this $15 off at CVS. This one is expired as well. So I still have like three weeks to use this. So I'll keep them back here. So I did not have time to coupon. That's why I'm not going to be budgeting for couponing. In September because I don't think I'm gonna have time with school runs and everything I get home super tired because I had to leave work to come and pick into up I had to use my lunch hour to pick her up and go back to work just so I don't spend childcare money so it makes me very tired and I don't have any time to coupon so I don't know what I'm gonna use this money for maybe I'll just use it to stock up on some paper products or laundry items this weekend and I'm not gonna coupon for some time I don't know yes so that being said now my wallet oh my goodness I can't get this money back in here now my wallet is empty oh yeah we do have some change yeah the money you see back here is meant for something else I don't know uh, I'm not gonna mess with it I have some change here that I'm gonna put in my coins counter later well I can put it right now I didn't have any very much change this week. I only went to the store once this week. So yeah, that explains to you. I don't know where this came from. This one was scratched up last time. That explains to you how busy I was. I did not have time to do anything because we I've been getting home like 6, 6.30 every day and then getting right into getting ready for the next day. Because I've been trying to go to bed earlier because I don't want to be tired in the morning. So yes, there you go. I think I need to get one of those Dex vacuum. I was watching a uh, simple living safe save. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry, sis, if I messed up your channel name. I forgot what I meant. So I saw her using her vacuum today when she was doing her scratch offs, and I think I need one of those because these things are so annoying when you do scratch offs. So this is how much we have left over for the week 20 30 40 45 50 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 dollars we did really do that was not bad i'll put this in my pink banner later on so today i'm gonna go ahead and so now i'm gonna go ahead and restock my wallet for the week so I have a lot of sticky notes everywhere, guys. <laughs> um, groceries are gonna be getting two hundred and thirty dollars because I think I need to bump my grocery bill back up to two fifty per week because we've been spending some money, a lot of money on lunch items because the kids decided to take lunch to school. 
so um, I'm having to buy more lunch items with groceries so yes yeah. so gas I I stopped by the gas station today at Walmart because that's where I like to get my gas the gas is the cheapest around here so I filled my tank up and I used my Walmart rewards card I mean capital one Walmart rewards card I don't know if that's the name so I used that to fill my tank up and I used $42, $41 and some change but I just decided to put $42 so I need to put this back into the bank I'm going to deposit this at my bank tomorrow because the bank, the credit union is, is, in my, is at my job so uh, the credit union, my agency owns the credit union so I'm just going to deposit this to the bank so I can pay back on my card so eating out is getting 30 Thirty dollars. Basically, my my kids eat McDonald's, so maybe they would like to eat some Chinese this weekend. It's been a while since we eat Chinese, and they love Chinese rice. They love the little one, and Rachel likes the beef lo mein, and then Israel loves the fried rice, the beef fried rice with some shrimps. Oh my gosh, she, they love Chinese food so much. So maybe you're gonna do Chinese this weekend instead of McDonald's. I think Chinese is even more healthier than McDonald's, in my own opinion. What do you think? Mr. Lemons is getting ten dollars. Plus, I am craving that Chinese food anyway, so I'm I'm gonna be getting me some. And I forgot to grab my spending money from my personal binder. I'm gonna do that after this video. So that's gonna do it with for my wallets. Um, now I'm gonna move on to some savings challenges. Um, the first one I'm going to be doing is this beautiful bee challenge that I got from Lisa Gray for me. I believe it's a free bee that she sent to me when I purchased something on her channel, on her Etsy shop. So Lisa Gray for me, oh, she always gives freebies. I did some, I did purchase some challenges from her. Well, I purchased one challenge from her yesterday. I still haven't printed it out yet. And I've already seen the freebie she sent to me. I'm like, ah. Oh so this one i want to use for angel's birthday in september so i think let me see how much i have i have 60 dollars i think i'm going to put 20 dollars in today and uh guys i got this um my eyeliner set from amazon and this is my first time using it so I don't know what's gonna look like. Oof, it's not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and put twenty dollars in here. Twenty dollars. And guys, I forgot to do my saving challenge binder. I'll be right back. This is one of the disadvantages of not filming at my desk in my room. But this desk is bigger. So here is the money from this for this challenge. So I said twenty dollars. Uh, yep, yeah. oopsie. So, so far, we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 387 dollars, which I think is plenty because I already know what I'm buying for Angel and. What I'm going to send to my daughter, where she is, she, it's not going to be very much due to the exchange rate and all that stuff. So yeah, I think this is plenty. And whatever I have left is going to be going into my sinking funds, I think. Yeah. So that is that. And um, this is what I saved up for, for childcare, guys. $800 that I'm... I am handing up not to put into chunky. This is so exciting. I'm so happy that it happened. That God worked it out for me. That I, and because after saving up this money, I was thinking to myself, how on earth am I going to take all this money and just put them, give them to somebody for childcare for just watching my daughter for one hour a day. That's why I decided I'm going to be using my lunch hour to pick her up. So... I'm not going to be wasting this money. I saved this money up and I need to put it to good use better than just putting them Giving them to somebody just Doing nothing for my child but to watch them 
it's better she comes back home to grandma and then i have a peace of mind at work i'm leaving her in the daycare and i'm spending money and i don't even know what they're doing with my child you know so yeah then i think i'm going to put some money in one of my travel or i don't know uh let me put 20 dollars in here i need a purple so each of these hotel icons is 10 dollars. so let's do two i like watching people coloring and it just makes me mad because i don't know how to color maybe i'm using the wrong things to color i need some of those fine tipped coloring pencils or markers because i need to be able to color in between the lines because it's kind of annoying coloring outside of the lines it makes them not look good but this is what i have for now so so twenty dollars is gonna go into this travel booklet that i got from january budgets and this travel booklet has seven five hundred dollar saving challenges with a total of three thousand five hundred dollars and this my goal for this challenge is one year this is my first month doing it and i think we're doing good because this is how much i've saved up in one month only one month guys one month Cause this is gonna be this is what i'm saving up for our trip in 2027 slow and steady i've tasked myself to save five thousand dollars every year so we don't have to use any credit card when it's time for us to go in 2027 so now we have 120 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 50 60 70 80 85 90 95 wow 395 dollars in one month so i think we are on the right track with this challenge my goal is to finish this by june of next year or july and then i'm going to start another five thousand dollar challenge you know this is three thousand five hundred and this is one thousand two something so so both of them will be used for our trip and i think i have twenty dollars left I really want to put some more money into the B challenge. I will link all these shop owners in the description for you guys. Um, because I really want to finish this with my August paycheck. So I want to knock out as much as I can just so I don't have too much to worry about with my August paycheck. You know, you know what I mean. So I have 20 more dollars that I can put in here. Uh, let's do another two tens and knock all this ten dollars out. I mean, so that's two, two tens. So now I only have a few more tens left because it's gonna be. So I only have. Excuse if uh, I'm sorry if you hear noises. Some kids are trying to find me. I'm in the guest room, so they don't know where I am. So I have only two tens left here. Then I can the rest of the fives in august i mean with my august paycheck in september because um i get paid once a month the end of the month so yes so yeah we are getting somewhere with this challenge and because i want to finish it as soon as possible and just bar this towards the end of the month anyway so i have enough time to finish plus i can use my card and just pay back later so i have one two three twenty forty fifty sixty seventy eighty ninety 400 wow one two three four five six seven four hundred and seven dollars the funniest thing about this challenge is i don't even know the dual amount in this challenge because it's not here i don't know so i don't know what i'm going to end up with right now i already have 400 so i i know it's going to be way more than 500 dollars which is plenty so guys thank you so much for watching and this is going to be the end of this video Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Like, comment, and please share my video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye bye.